All right, guys, today I'm working on my Lincoln 210 uh, MIG TIG ARC flux welder here. I'm adding the foot amp troll adapter. Uh, it's this guy here. You need to get this for using TIG on this machine. It's got the six pin uh, adapter and the wiring harness, of course, for the unit. It's the uh, Lincoln K4104-1 adapter kit. And to do that, you've got eight screws you've got to remove on the back of the 210. This one here, this one, this one here, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. This is a 5 16 inch socket driver, or you could use a flathead screwdriver. Notice that the machine is unplugged, the gas is disconnected. You want to make sure you're doing the same. You also need to remove the Phillips head screw that's in the storage compartment that goes into the handle. Once you've removed all those screws, uh, you simply pull the cover straight backwards and then you've got to disconnect the fans with this harness here. With the fans disconnected, the cover comes completely off and you're looking inside the 210. Next you'll go to the front of the welder and remove the Phillips head screw for the handle on the front side as the handle needs to come off. With the handle off, we need to remove the two screws on top of the machine here and here. And it's hard to see, but there are three screws on this side of the machine towards the base that need to come off as well. Here are the three screws on the side. One, two, and three. Sorry about the poor lighting. And on the front of the machine, we need to undo this side and this side as well. With all those screws out, I'm going to slide the cover towards the back of the machine. And he pulls right off. Now we're in it to win it. Now that the case is completely open, we're focusing on this plastic plug right below the drive roll mechanism. And we need to pry this out. This is where the adapter is going to go. There's a tab, a slot next to the uh, plug where you can put a flathead screwdriver. With the plug out, we're looking now towards the front of the machine on the other side. And there you can see the multi-pin connector that we're going to plug in the adapter to. You want to be super careful. Try not to touch the motherboard or get any static electricity in there. The connection only goes one way. The tab is to the front of the machine and it's tough to show that but I'm using uh, needle nose pliers to hold in an unused slot on the connection and that will allow me to get it in there and get it plugged in. The ground wire of course is going to go on this post here. Alright so I'm actually finding that gripping it uh, more vertically than horizontally is allowing me to work it in here a little bit easier. All right, well, I've made the connection. Uh, it's difficult to see here. And uh, <laughs> maybe Lincoln on uh, good faith to its customer should just pre-install this and include it with the purchase price. But anyway, we're close to being finished with the install here. The next fun part is to work the adapter towards the other side of the machine. Again, I apologize that I'm filming with one hand and working the adapter with the other. But you just kind of massage this guy into place and push him through towards the user side of the machine. To secure the ground wire, I'm using a number 10 wrench. Uh, it's definitely made for a 3 8 so that will save you a little frustration. And I'm just loosening the nut and we're going to lift the nut and one lock washer off of the stud or the post so I've got the lock washer the nut and we're going to tie this guy in here like so And put our 
nut back on. I decided to grab a, a thin wooden dowel to help leverage the uh, um, adapter harness into the hole on the user interface side. And uh, I know, terrible lighting guys, sorry, but that got it right in there. And I'll just leave the dowel here so that as I start to put the screws in on the other side, the dowel can provide a little bit of resistance to keep the um, connection steady. The kit includes uh, screws, of course, for mounting the connector. Uh, also, uh, it included a wash, a couple washers, a lock washer, and a nut for that negative ground post, but I didn't need that, so I'll just be using these uh, four screws. The kit also comes with a couple of zip ties. Uh, I couldn't really find anything in the instructions that mention use of those, but I'm sure it's just to tidy up the wiring. So I'm going to go ahead and get these screws mounted in the four holes uh, for this. Then I'll probably orient it to the little tabs on top, just like my uh, Lincoln 200 uh, square wave TIG wel welder. All right, I've got each of the four screws started. They uh, are essentially self-tapping, so, uh, you know, you just got to put a little torque to them, but they'll go in. All right, I've got each screw uh, tightened down firm, uh, certainly not over-tightened, and I used a uh, screwdriver. Don't use an impact. Don't use a drill. Do this by hand. Don't use any uh, power tools. All right, well, with that installed... I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the sheet metal case back on uh, and just uh, re you know reverse the process of putting all the screws back in and then we'll get a little footage of the foot pedal uh, in action and how to select it on the machine. All right, I've got the uh, machine all back together and again, just want to stress, you know, use hand tools to put it back together. Don't uh, use power tools or impacts. Uh, one note, you know, anytime you're working with sheet metal, uh, especially on vehicles, uh, and you've got several uh, components or panels going on. I did not tighten any of the sheet metal screws until everything had at least uh, threads had been started, just so that I had uh, perfect alignment. That might save you a little bit of frustration too. So what I'm gonna do now, I just drilled some holes in my uh, welding cart so that I can you know, physically bolt the welder to it uh, just for stability. Um, so that's an idea for you. But uh, just a second here, we'll, we'll put the foot pedal on it and get to rocking. All right, so we're all put back together. We're uh, in the workshop area. Here I've got the uh, foot pedal connected to the adapter. So we'll come over here, turn on our machine. I'm just gonna go straight to home and we're gonna come over and select TIG, and I am electronegative. We're gonna say yes to the pedal, and my tungsten is 3.30 seconds. Uh, let's crank it up to 14 gauge, arbitrary for today's example. All right, so use pedal to activate output. So here I've got the uh, pedal, and just a piece of scrap here and here we go all right let's see if it works I'd say so